Hi everybody, Dennis Mason, uh, and I'm talking uh, today with the author of this book, Amarilla. It's Carol Wells. Hi, Carol. How are you today? I'm fabulous. We just finished the radio show, and um, we wanted to let you know about Carol's new book that's out, and uh, Amarilla. Tell us a little bit about Amarilla. Amarilla is a little princess who has had confrontations with the wicked king, her father and the mother was banished from the land and so Amberilla, only seven years old, has to leave and she goes on an adventure all around the world to the different lands, the lands of the rubies, to the emerald jungles, and meets the different queens of these countries trying to find her mother and each of the queens give her um, different aspects of life learning lessons to protect herself and the laws of the universe and how to be a stronger person. And mainly I wrote it because so many young people have such adult problems nowadays and this helps give them some tools of how to deal with with adversity. At the same time it's a happy kind of adventure and you'll learn things that um, I put in about the properties of different stones, which is true, but mainly the laws of the universe and to give you confidence. So all ages seem to like this book. I mean, as I wrote it, and I said for children, but people my age and all young mothers that are in their 40s before they give it to their children are loving it. So it's a, real, it's a book for all ages, I would say. I couldn't put it down. <laughs> I know that's I, so much fun. <laughs> I, I, it's it's a, it's a wonderful book, and knowing you and, and knowing uh, what a spiritual person you are, a lot of you went into this book, and there's a lot of good stuff in there that I think kids can pick up on. But then you start reading between all the lines, and it's good advice and good commentary for everybody about how everything is interconnected, and uh, and how to deal with your life and how to take some experiences and use them uh, to your best interest as you go along, so it's excellent. A lot of this came from your, your own personal uh, life and experiences oh, yeah. that you've had, right? Yes, you know, when I grew up, I thought everybody could see auras. I, I just thought that's how everyone lived, and then I found out that I was different, that I could see colors around people, and I started experimenting with things, and the, I went for like 10 years traveling all around the world, learning different religions and studying their philosophies. And it all comes down to the same thing. I mean, no matter what we're studying, we all believe that there's something bigger than us and that we all are connected. And I just tried to put a little bit of information without it being too overwhelming um, with some meditations and some guidelines to help mm -hmm. people. Because the whole thing is just centering yourself getting yourself calm enough to be able to listen to that inner voice that knows what to do, how to help yourself. But most people kind of forget that they are gods themselves. They have everything within them to heal themselves, to be happy, and to be prosperous. So we have to keep remembering that. And you do it really well in this book, I must say, <laughs> because the things that, you're, that Amarella is learning uh, I just kind of look back in myself and things, and what you're saying right there are good for all of us. That's really great. Well, I hope so. I want it to be an uplifting experience, and there's so many fun things that I'm going to do with merchandising, make the doll line and have the little, all the little jewels that they wear and the animals that are in it, and I hope to have it made into an animated film because that way it will become worldwide and, and more information can go out to how to help people have better lives and that's the whole key. Health and happiness, what else do we need? That, you, can't, you can't beat that, that's, that's the best thing in the whole world. It's a pleasure talking to you Carol well, and uh, you're going to be at the uh, uh, LA County Book Fair. Is it LA County or City? It's LA <laughs> County, it's at USC and I'll be there April 22nd. That's a week from this Sunday, right. and um, I forgot the booth number. <laughs> but it's 159. 159. Section T1. Section T1. Section T1, <clears throat> booth number 159, Author House. And I'll be there between 12.30 and 1.30 to sign and give away 100 books. So bring your children, I'll sign a book, and you'll have one free. 
All right, and we'll have all this posted for you on our website. And uh, um, you go to DennisMasonFitness.com, uh, it'll be there. And also if you go to FitnessRadio.org, uh, you get more information on all the websites to go to. Thanks again, Carol, for being with us. Oh, well, thank you, Dennis. You're wonderful, and he's a wonderful fitness coach, too. Uh, I started <laughs> using him. Wait till you see me next year. I'll be a wonder woman. All right, well, <laughs> Dennis Mason here. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.